Welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. This is Rantry, and I'm here with Wilani. It's the middle of hurricane season, and uh, let's see, we should probably get our hunger squared away. Our meat's about to rot. We got some berries. We picked them off the bush because apparently they blow away in hurricane season. I could pick up some hail and start making some ice, uh, which is good filler, but I'm not really short on any of that right now. So, what is going to be our goal today? Uh, well, it's about to turn daytime. I'm going to go eat this meatball. And I'm going to go ahead and put away my corral, the OK corral. And what else do we not need on us? Pro well, I should probably put that on and put that on so I don't get wecked. And uh, I may keep my hammer on me in case I decide to get some more monkey houses. But I am frustrated with the spiders all over my map. The spiders that are available to me because they're not turning into tier 3s yet. So, what do I need? Well, I'm going to need sand and lots of bamboo. Uh, which I think I neglected to actually dig up any last time while I was down here. So I may actually head back down there. We'll head south. Dig all the sand on the way, get on our boat, dig up some bamboo, and uh, plant it back up here because we're going to need to make sandbags. And still got quite a few days before it's going to become an issue. Uh, monsoon season, I think the puddles start, I don't know, they can actually kind of start anywhere between day. 40-ish and like maybe 40 to 45, 44, 45, 46, something like that. I can count. Uh, let's see. I'm forgetting something important. I'm forgetting to dig sand. So we're going to just dig up a bunch of sand on our way down there. Try and get more or less as much as we can. Come on. Space bar kind of acts a little wonky with, uh, with the sand. You got to be kind of right on top of it before your space bar, or if you're on a console, your auto loot button will actually work. I'll pick a few more sticks and uh, whatnot on the way. Let's see if I can get my umbrella to stay there. Or will it go back into my backpack? I don't know. Um, and my shovel. I want my tools to stay somewhere accessible. Anyways, yeah, just gonna dig sand on the way down there and I just wanted to thank everyone who has watched, uh, subscribed, liked, and commented. The encouraging comments really, you know, make it make it worthwhile. I'm glad that people are watching. Even though I'm a small channel, don't have a lot of subscribers yet. Um, I do obviously enjoy making these videos, and when people watch them and get something out of them, whether it be education uh, to make them a little bit better at Don't Starve, or... Uh, entertainment just for fun or if you leave some tips and make me a better don't starve player I just really appreciate all of that so enough of the mushy stuff make another shovel oh and also um, I do I do I would like to get into playing um, don't starve together me and my girlfriend play it together but obviously it's more fun the more people you have so if anybody watching wants to play don't starve together I may uh, be making a YouTube, uh, s some YouTube videos about Don't Starve Together, and uh, would love to have some people in on that, that, uh, you know, have a somewhat decent understanding of how to play. Um, so if you want to do that, I guess just uh, get, a, get, a, get at me on Steam, my name's Rantry, uh, you should be able to find me on Steam, or just leave a comment here. Anyways. Starting to get night, I'm going to want to probably get on my boat and get onto the southern island before it gets to be completely nighttime. Might as well get the nighter on the way, so we may we may uh, hurry on down to the south and uh, go hit up the other island to dig up some bamboo. So I will uh, I'll see you when I get down there as I dig up more sand on the way. All right, we are headed to the southern island, but there is a jellyfish, and I want to kill it real quick because I believe that 
Uh, if I kill the jellyfish, some floaty boaty knights may spawn right there. And then I can get gears, and then I'll have a, a nice, lovely, um, be able to make an ice box, basically, is, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I got a couple more hours of daylight, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and shovel. Did I already break my other shovel? Yes, I believe I did. Or I'm blind and can't see it, which happens quite frequently. Uh, but yeah, we'll just dig up some, some bamboo and some tufts. That's about all we're gonna have room for here. Uh, I have enough logs and grass to make a fire. When it starts getting close to night, just make sure you can always make at least a torch. Uh, if not, a fire. And the wind, the rain is blowing, so I think it may behoove me to just hang out all night with a torch. Maybe even under a tree. Might keep me dry, I don't know. I mean, I know it keeps you dry, but I don't know if it'll keep my torch from getting ruined quite so fast. Oh, hounds. I hear hounds obeying. Okay, good. There goes the rain. And you know what? I should be able to get these monkeys to deal with the hounds. I would get on my boat and try and kill them in the water and get some shark hounds. But I did kill that jellyfish, and I believe that will be sufficient to spawn the floaty boaty knights. So, yeah, we're just going to go wait. Let's see. We'll wait down here for the hound attack. All right, here come the hounds. It's still night. Not ideal. Aggro those monkeys. Oh boy, that's terrible. All right, I'm gonna take a bite here, probably. Oh, no, I didn't. Good, looks like they did aggro onto the monkeys. All right, come on daytime. Get that, get that. Here we go. Oh, come on, I thought you were dead. All right. Oh, what is that? One man band? Oh boy, I really want... Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna have to do a monkey war to get that freaking hound's tooth back, which shouldn't be too terrible. Come on, guys. Let's go get him. Go get him. You gotta kind of run away from the monkeys to get them to do your bidding. Because if you get too close to them, there's that hound's tooth. That's really all I wanted. Eat that. Fine. Uh, is there anything useless that I have? This jellyfish? Ah, uh, whatever. The morsel and the poo. I don't really know if I care about this one-man band. I'm not real sure what that does. Oh, I should probably go get my backpack. All right. What were we going to do again? Oh, yes. Dig bamboo. All right, we should be able to make it back across the little... Yep, there they are. All right, so just a jellyfish will certainly work. Can I fight them? Uh, let's see, what's my boat? My boat health is fine. Um, eh, let's try it. Oh, just die. All right, it took... I don't even know, that was... 10 or so hits. Oh crap. Get get off, get off, get off. Get my torch on. Get my torch on. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's uh if you're on if you're on a boat and you equip your torch and move, it won't your torch will still be in your hand, but it won't actually give you any light. You've got to unequip it and then re-equip it and stop rowing basically. Um Okay, I picked a few flowers. Uh, let's see, the gears are right down here. The night is long. I can probably make it up to my base and then back down here before before I really have, uh, before the next day. I was debating whether or not to just stay down there and go grab the gears that I had just got and kill that other floaty boaty knight. Not to get yet even more gears, but I'm a little hungry. And I think I can make it to my base and back down there by, by, uh, by morning. 
So as not to waste time just standing around down there waiting for daytime when I can go gather the gears. I'm gonna go to my base and make another torch real quick. No problem. Base is here. Take a log or two, drop them in there. All right, I got two hands. Oh, they're just, they're right there. Okay, no big deal. All right, we can put the hound's teeth in this chest, I believe. And what can I, what should I make? I guess I'll make some, well, I guess I'll just make bacon and eggs since I've got the ingredients for it. And I can make, uh, I get some filler and make another, man, make a meatballs as well. I think I have some berries that are ripe down here. Can't really see them too well right now. Come on, bake. Baking bacon and eggs. Eggs. Um, I could, let's see, I could store off. I could store actually kind of a lot of stuff. That, we can store the sand for now. Uh, I'll keep the rest of this stuff. Oh, the one man band, of course. I don't need that. I'm not real sure even what it does. I think it lets, like, makes other, it drains your sanity real fast, but makes uh, animals, and different creatures follow you. All right, let's go get our gears. So yeah, if you are looking for gears, just kill a jellyfish. And then the floaty boaty knights will be there. And they look kind of intimidating, but uh, my sanity's not great. Although I do want bees to live here, so I may leave the flowers for now. Make some surf and turf later. I think my sanity will be okay. Um, and there's one more floaty boaty. So, we'll probably go try and kill him. And I believe that, that they damage your boat and not your... Not your health when they hit you. But yeah, if I just, if I just stay right here real close to him... Oh, he doesn't even have a sanity aura. Yeah. They, I'm, a, I'm sure... Now, this is the Hang 10 build if you're watching this in the future. Um, I'm sure that that will get nerfed and the floaty boaty knights will be less common and uh, possibly more difficult to kill or something. Uh, let's see, our sanity's not great and our seashell armor, well, it's at 80%, but can never have too many seashells. I could dig more sand, but don't really want to right now. I'm gonna, do my do my due diligence first things first is to get get my fridge up and running get my fridge up and running and then oh you know what I can do I can feed this guy and if I stand next to him he's my bud now if I can stand next to him without him running away too hardcore like he always is wont to do but you'll check out my sanity when I get close to him I mean he is a he is a sanity machine. So, he'll make my sanity go up if I want to stand next to him. Alright, we do have filler to make... We could make meatballs, uh, which I suppose we will. And... I believe... I've picked most of the limpets, so I can't make surf and turf for my sanity. That one should have something on it. And that one might have something on it. These definitely do, and I can I can go up there uh, if I want to get more food from the monkeys. But right now it's it's at it's at half and I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. So just get a meatball rolling. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a cut stone. We're gonna need more chests. Um, but let's see if I can go ahead and get a, get a fridge made, an ice box. So I need two gold and one cut stone. That's no big deal. However, it is a big deal for my inventory. 
So, what can I put away? I know you're blowing all my sticks down. That in there. Uh, I picked back up my hammer. I guess I can just leave my tools lying about and take them as I need them. There we go. All right. So let's make cut stone. Uno cut stono. And uh, tell me I've got gold. Oh, yeah, I got lots of gold. Two, I believe, is what it took for the ice box. Now, I like to make my ice box, and I'm actually not going to build it right now because I dropped the tools where I want to place it. Um, I like to make my ice box right next to my crock pot so that, and I'll store all my food in here, but so that while I'm, I can have the crock pot and the, and the uh, ice box open at the same time. So I don't have to run back and forth and, you know, put, put uh, ingredients, take ingredients out of the ice box, put them in the crock pot. I can just kind of manage it there all at once. Makes it much easier for me. All right, so that is our, that's a huge goal actually, getting the, getting the ice box up and running. Uh, next time, I believe, let's see, it's day 32. We still got quite a bit of hurricane season left. I believe that next time I will try to finally get my inventory completely organized, build maybe four or five more chests, but that's going to involve uh, just a lot of wood cutting. So now I think finally we're going to have a lumberjack day. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Rantry, and I will see you next time.